Hey friends, oh, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Poms. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair from the way we style and care, as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. So if you caught the title, you know I am doing a box braid crochet install. So right here my hair is freshly washed and I am going in with a heat protectant by Flawless by Gabrielle Union And I'm on the last bit of it So I decided to use that to uh, do a blow dry real quick on my head because I am stretching my hair out in order to put cornrows in it And then I'm installing box braids around the perimeter. So when it comes to installing box braids I hate sitting for the 8 to 12 hours it takes to do them on myself So my cheat code is to crochet the center and box braid my perimeter and that usually takes me no more than four to five hours to install now i'm going in th with sections right now to blow dry my hair i use a wide tooth comb to detangle and then i go behind it with a tangling brush to make sure it's nice and smooth i pull the hair taut and then use my shark blow dryer i've had this for almost a year now and i love this thing the power behind it is amazing and it's super quiet like that was really shocking for me for it to be such a strong blow dryer it is not as loud as previous blow dryers i've owned before it came with two nozzles the forced air nozzle and the brush nozzle and i purchased the diffuser separately i have all of these items linked on our amazon storefront which is linked down below in the description box if you would like to purchase or check out these items so this is what my hair is looking like completely dried and I'm going in with the Pretty Strands hair oil. I've been using this hair oil for like two years now. I love using this hair oil. It seals in all the moisture and it keeps my hair looking shiny and healthy. I also go on my scalp with the hair oil and do a scalp massage. This helps stimulate growth for your hair. A nice massage to get all that blood flow just moving and get that growth and stimulation going so this is all of my growth for the past year and I am super happy with my growth my hair looks so healthy I have gotten it trimmed professionally and I just love it So right here, I am parting off the perimeter so I can box braid that area. And I'm going to braid that up, braid it up and set it to the side so I can work on installing my corn rolls for my crochet braids. Now I'm gonna go in with my corn rolls. Now for my corn rolls, I wanted to change up my foundation a little bit. Usually I do single corn rolls going straight back, but this time I wanted to do like a tiny corn roll in the front half and then have those two connect together to make a one corn roll going straight back. And the reason why I'm doing this is because when I do my crochet braids, I usually concentrate a lot heavy on the front half of my head versus the back. Um, usually the braids, kind of fall back and they you know cover up what is back there so I don't apply as many braids as I do apply to the front half and I do this because I don't want it to look really bulky once I am done so that's a problem a lot of people come with when it comes to installing crochets is they end up having this bulky look where it just looks like it's too much hair on your head and to uh, try to cut back on having that problem this kind of helps me with not installing as many braids to the front that I do to the back so when it's all said and done it looks as natural as possible Thank you. 
I have done crochet styles like this plenty of times before. It's my favorite way to install my locks, my, my curls, braids, any kind of crochet style, especially if you want a more natural look where the perimeter looks more individual and it saves so much time and I'm all about saving time. I'm a very busy woman sitting down trying to do my hair for eight, 12 hours at a time. It's just not plausible for me. I need something that's gonna be as quick as possible and still give me the look that I wanna go for. Can you help me? Can you so I have finished corn rolling all of my hair in the center and now I'm left with this one braid where I just crochet it through the corn rolls already there and this holds it down I don't usually have any problems with this unraveling or coming loose especially once I put in my crochet braids everything is nice and secured so once I have this laid down flat this is what my foundation is looking like I have about 10 braids going across the front and then they all connect in the back to make up six big braids I'm now going in with some blue magic coconut grease and I'm going in with this grease because I want to make sure my scalp is going to be moisturized and not dry and flaky during these winter months I am hoping to hold this style for at least three to four weeks and I am bad when it comes to revisiting my hair to make sure it is oiled and moisturized and all that good stuff so I love to go in with the grease because it helps seal in everything and make sure my scalp is nice and oiled and greased so here I am just installing the braids it is not rocket science very simple loop the hair through and pull it tight and I'm going to go in and show you each pack that I've done so this is one pack that I have installed and then the next clip I'm going to show you the two three four and so forth when it was all said and done I finished with installing five packs of crochet hair to that centerpiece and then I'm going to go in and talk about how I installed my box braids So this is about four and a half packs of crochet braids installed and now I'm checking the back to make sure there's no like significant gaps. And if there is, I go back and fill them in. So once I did that, it it did come up to about five packs of hair being installed. So I'm wrapping the hair up cause now I need to work on that perimeter to box braid. And I'm gonna show one clip of me doing the box braid because I kind of forgot to record it as I was working my way through, but it looks really good. So this was the hair I purchased and it is a little bit darker at the roots than the crochet braid but it didn't bother me none I felt like it blended it in pretty nicely and what I do is I take a small section from the braiding hair that I'm going to be using and I wrap it around so I can create my three strands I don't like doing the two strand way and then end up having to borrow hair as I'm braiding because it always ends up looking a little janky to me maybe I'm just not good at borrowing hair from the other strands to make that third strand so I like to already have my three strands already pre-made so all i have to do is just pretty much just braid my hair into it now with this method i do have the knotted at the base and i know right now the knotless braids are what is trending but for me knotless braids just do not last long and as i mentioned i want these to last three to four weeks and then the knots to me also help with giving me a little bit more thickness at my roots and i have like thin hair especially around my perimeter so knotless braids just, just don't look great on me and so i prefer the knotted regular traditional box braids So I am all finished. I'm just going in laying down my edges and I did dip my braids in hot water. I did that off camera and this style did last me for my three to four weeks just as I wanted. I still have them in as I am editing this video now because I am behind on content. So this is what it's looking like from the back and these crochet braids can be purchased through my Amazon storefront. The link will be provided down below. Thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. I greatly appreciate y'all checking this out and we will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.